Hi, and welcome back to Tech Your Game. Today, we're going to talk about using Google Classroom to train and evaluate your players so that they get the information they need prior to being on field, on the court, in the pool, or wherever it is that you're training them. Today, on Tech Your Game. Okay, welcome back, Tech Your Game. Today we're gonna to use Google Classroom. We're gonna pick up with the classroom that we created last time. It's the Tech Your Game Team Classroom. One thing I didn't point out last time that I wanna make sure you all understand this time is the classroom is a place where you and whoever you let into it, in other words, your students, whoever those students are, uh, those are the only ones that get in here. Okay, you have the code, you have the ability, you control the students. You can invite the students, you can control how they respond. All of that is yours to control. And what that allows you to do is go in here and use all the secrets, post all the information that you have about your team. Now, you can make it a little bit more custom to your team. You can come here to the the background and you can upload a photo from your computer that better suits the look of your team you know whatever that is you can put that up okay I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one it's gonna load it up it's gonna crop it for me I can choose to have a little bit more of that show or I can choose to have a little bit less and then I just select class theme. Now the whole theme, as you noticed, Google went ahead and took the background and kind of matched it to the dominant color in this banner picture. So you don't have to mess with that. Okay, but that's a little thing. What do we want to get to today? Today, we want to get to the training. Today, we want to get to what you can do with this classroom and, and how you can organize it to best focus on informing and assessing where your kids are on your team. Both are important. I prefer in the off season to, to be more in the informing. And when you do informing, you're pretty much posting things. Now, I create them as assignments because I want them to complete the training. So when I come down here and I look at what's available to me, I can do a number of different things. I can just create a question if there's something I need feedback on right, right away, like what color of socks do you all want for your team socks? You know, let them go ahead and provide a short answer or give them a multiple choice. Don't let them pick everything, say white, black, green, and this is just what's called a poll question. You're gonna ask it. That's why we have just this ask button. You can schedule that to be sent out at a certain time. You can save it as a draft, or you can ask it right away. Okay, and you may wanna come in here and add pictures of what the socks would look like, anything that might go for your team, a drive file, that you have more information on, a YouTube video that promotes something, you can do that right here. You can add a link to a website, or you can just throw it out there and students will see this in the class summary, or athletes, in our case, student athletes. And they'll just go in, they'll see this question, they'll click on it, and they'll select. All right, I'm in the teacher view, so I'm not allowed to select, I'm only allowed to to ask the question. All right, this is great for just edit, editing some data. Uh, and if you want to, you can copy the link to this post and you can put it out on the team website, which is public. But the only people that can come in are those who can that belong in the classroom. So if you're into keeping your team's organization, your training and all of that private and focused on just your team, classroom is a way to do that. Now, that's a simple poll question. You're just asking them to respond. And it's not it's just gonna give you the, the numbers. How many wanted white, black, and green? And you can go from there. If that's the way you run your team. If you just choose, then just choose. 
Um, all right, so on to training. Right? When you train, you want to create assignments. Okay, and in, in the assignment, you want to be as descriptive in the title as you possibly can be. Shooting skills. Uh, let's see, be even more specific. And then what I'm going to put in here is I want them to watch a certain video. And that video is going to express what I want them to know about this particular skills. Now, the reason I'm making it an assignment is when I post this, they're going to have to respond to it. Okay, please watch the attached video and complete the assignment. So completing this assignment is just watching the video. They're going to have to click on turn in at the end and turn it in. Okay, no due date. You can leave that due date open or you can put in when you want them to have it done by. You can put the time in so that they get it done by a certain time on that day and you can check at that time. I always like to put in a topic. The topic allows them to go back later and just search on assignments that were part of that topic. So if they're concerned about overhand shooting and they want to learn more, go back and relearn it, they can sort out all of the noise in the class stream by looking just for overhand shooting. So we're going to put that in as a topic. We're going to go down here to video. We're going to go to YouTube and we're going to look for this particular video that I was that I knew I wanted to show them and we're just going to add it. It's a short two minute video. Keep them short for for all of your kids as best you can. All right. And then just click on assign. Now, what you have is you have a video that you've watched that you believe shows them and explains to them in a very clear way what you're expecting. They go into this assignment, they'll open it up, they'll watch the video, and they'll click on a button that says complete and turn in. All right, when they do that, at the end of that assignment, all right, you're going to be able to go into this folder. It gives you a drive folder, okay, which hasn't been created yet because nobody has completed the assignment. Nobody is student in this, this uh, classroom. But right here, open folder for assignment. When you open that up, you'll have a list of the names of the students who completed it and shows them as complete. Okay, so, and it also shows right here, this many done, this many not done. You'll have a list of all your students over here. It'll show you the ones that are done and the ones that are not done. You can send the ones that are not done a message right through Classroom to remind them you have X number of days to get this done or you missed the deadline, you need to get this done. Okay. The other thing in there is it's just instructions, which is a video that says watch this video and complete it and the student work. Now, obviously, we could put a whole lot more detail in there. Okay, we could go back to what we did before and we'll slide down here and we'll look at this passing and shooting quiz. Okay, I'm going to open this assignment up. This would obviously be given after I've already provided the training. So we created a form and we put it in as the assignment. And when they open that one up, it will say, watch this video, answer this question. All right. And then submit. Okay, so a lot of different ways you can use the classroom. You can create a list of topics that'll show on the main page. If you just want to come in here and look for your attackers topics, it'll sort all the one, all the posts pertaining to attackers. If you go back and you click on overhand shooting, it'll just bring up the overland overhand shooting. Okay. And then you can just go back to the main page and view everything. 
it will be in sequential order with your most recent post at the top. Uh, if there's work due, no work due soon, view all. Um, there's all the work. There's everything that needs to be done. If you're a student, you just click in and go to the work. There's also a calendar associated that shows when your assignments are due. Kids can get into the calendar. All right. And all kinds of different applications for things you can do in here online, outside of practice, that they can do on their own time. Give them plenty of time. Give them a classroom where they feel safe. That's just their teammates. Ask questions to get the feedback and then make decisions and respond to those questions. Sometimes your poll questions that we described in the very beginning can get information from your team on what skills they need more training in. Ask them, poll them right here in the classroom. They don't have to go out there and show the world. The difference between this and the Google Sites that we talked about in a previous video is this is just your team. This is everybody that you let in. Okay, You decide who the students are and keep them within your, your school, your Gmail's uh, account setup. Okay, All of their assignments will be logged to your drive in a separate folder that you can find by clicking on the folder here or going straight to your drive and picking it up there. I think this is a great way to train your team in the off season, even during the season, but most especially in the off season to get them mentally ready for what it is that you need them to be ready to do when they show up in the fall, in the winter, in the spring, in the summer, whatever season your team has. I hope this is helpful. If you need more information, put a comment at the bottom and I will respond to your comments and get back to you with, the answers you need. I hope it's helpful. Use the classroom. You won't regret it. Have a great day.